welcome back to Let's Play Guitar. Welcome back to another fingerstyle guitar lesson. And today it will be on symphony. So this is a really beautiful song. And to play this one, you'll need a capo on the third fret so that we are in the same key as the original track. And yeah, let's get right into it. Let's see how to play the intro standard tuning. And let's begin with the intro first. actually got a lot of comments from few people who want to learn especially how to play this intro so starting out on C third fret on the fifth string over here and you're going to have open on the first string okay two strings played together next you're on A minor open on the fifth string and first fret on second string played together then you have one and one on top string and first string, so I'm using my thumb over here. Then back to the first position where you have third fret on fifth string and open on the first string. So all in all. Now let's skip to this part. Now this part it's repeated a lot of times in this song, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to play it right over here. So you're starting out on second fret of third string, then open on second string, okay? Then you have open on fifth string, and at the same time you're playing first fret on the second string, so. Then open on first string, third fret on top string and open on second string so now you have second fret on fourth string then open and open on third string and top string so then first fret on second string and then on F over here you've got first fret on top string and at the same time, you're going to do a hammer on from open to second fret on the third string. Like that. So. Okay. So if you put the whole intro, intro together. Okay, and especially this part. It's going to be repeated a lot of times in this lesson. Okay, so that completes your intro. Now, the, in, the, in the song, the intro is played just once, but I like to, in, in my arrangement, I like to play it twice. Okay, so you can also do that. Now, let's get into the verse. Okay, so that's the first part for the verse. Starting out on C major again, the bass note is 3rd fret on the 5th string and over here you have 1st fret on 2nd string and 1st string is open. So we're going to pick all 3 strings together and then 1st 2 strings 3 more times. Okay, so all in all, 4 times. First time is with the bass note, so 1, 2, 3, 4. Then 3 and 1 on the 2nd string and then come to A minor, we're going to play open on 5th string, 2nd fret on 3rd string and 1st fret on 2nd string. Okay, so all 3 strings together. So, like that. Okay, once again. Now, so you can have open on the 3rd on string and then third fret on top string and first fret on second string picked together so then three three on second string then one again so okay so that's what we've learned so far now So that's open and open on top string and first string and third fret on second string 
and then one and one on top string and second string and then second fret on third string okay if you want you can also do a hammer on so from the start okay now you're gonna repeat this line once again same thing now the third time what's gonna happen is this so the change is only on in the beginning and in C major so this is going to be third fret on fifth string and first string back together then one on the first string so then open to first fret and hammer on so then open okay sorry then one on second string and then a minor with the bass note then everything else is the same so this is the same okay so the change was only in the beginning so once again this part okay once again This was the third line. Now the fourth line you're gonna do this. So again you can see the change is only in the beginning. So over here what's happening is third fret on fifth string and a hammer on from open to first fret on the first string. Now once again a hammer on from open to first fret on first string. Okay so then open Everything else is the same on A minor, first fret, then with the bass note, and then this part is obviously the same. Okay, so that completes your four lines for the verse. So let's put everything together, the whole verse. Starting out, we did this. On the second line, same thing. third line fourth line okay and now you go to the pre-chorus of the song so this pre-chorus is also going to be repeated again later in, in, in later parts of the song so I'm going to show you how to play it right over here this is the chorus okay, that all of that is the chorus so the pre-chorus so one and one on second string then open on first string then a slide from three to five on first string with your little finger because you have to use your ring finger and index finger later okay so over here that's why you do the slide with your little finger over here so and then Okay. So over here, what's happening is third fret on fourth string, a fifth fret on third string, and once again fourth string. So, so this is part of F F chord over here. You see this this chord F over here. Okay. So after that. So that's going to be 5 and 3 on the first string, okay? So, you know, I'm having a little bar over here to get to that third fret on the first string. After that, you come to C, C over here, third fret on fifth string and open on first string pick together. And then, so 
this is going to be third fret on second string open on first string again third fret second string so Once again, open on 1st string and 3rd fret on 5th string back together and 3rd fret on 1st string. So, okay. And come to G, 3rd fret on top string and open on 2nd string back together. And then 2nd fret on 3rd string, open on 2nd string and 2nd fret on 3rd string again. So, okay. Okay, that's what we've learned so far. And now, sorry. So that's going to start with a hammer on on second string, open to first fret, and open, then one on top string and two on third string, pick together. Then third fret on fourth string and play third string, fourth string again. Okay, so like that. So from the start for the pre chorus, for the next line will be the same do the same thing instead of two times on second string just do once okay so one time on first fret on second string then everything is the same stop on G okay you have to stop on third fret on top string and second string open okay you have to stop over here so the second time, once again, second time, what you're doing is stop on G, okay? That's going to be your pre-chorus. Okay, now let's learn how to play the chorus. This is also another very important part of the song. It's repeated again later in the arrangement as well. So you're going to do a slide from 1 to 3 on 2nd string, then open and 3rd fret on 1st string, okay, so, then open and 3rd fret again on 1st string, and on 3rd fret you're going to do a slide from 3 to 5, so, then open, then 3rd fret and slide to 5, okay, so, and then, 8th fret on the 1st string, so, okay, and then, so, you, you have your hair, this is going to be a 13th fret, now, I hope you don't mind, over here, I'm going to name the frets, are not relative to the capo but relative to the nut over here okay so this we're gonna call just call this 13th fret because it's gonna hard for me it's gonna be hard for me to calculate it with respect to capo so I'm just gonna name it with respect to the nut okay so just for this part this part just for this little particular part I'm just gonna name the frets are not relative to the capo but relative to the nut okay so this is fret number 12 13 14 15 and so on okay so this is going to be a 13th fret on first string and 11th fret on fifth string pick together then once again pick the first string so and do the slap with the help of your thumb just tap the top string over here so 
and then you have 11 11 and 11 on first string second string a uh, first string second string and sixth string okay so and then so this is going to be again you're going to pinch all three strings together two times to the slap and then once again okay so it's coming from here pinch and then pinch pinch slap and pinch again so once again okay once again pinch pinch slap pinch and now so this is going to be 13th fret on 2nd string, 10th fret on 1st string, then on 11th fret of 1st string, you're going to pick along with that, open on 5th string, so, then 15th fret on 1st string, so, and then, come back to 10th fret on 1st string, along with that, you have open on the top string over here, so, Now, so this is 12th fret on 3rd string, then 11 and 11 on 1st on two strings, so this is like this, and then this is your F major, okay, so this is going to be 11th fret on 5th string, and 13th fret on 2nd string and 3rd string, pick all 3 strings together, okay, so so let's take it from over here. Okay, in the very end you can do a slap two times. Okay, you can do a slap and strum where you do a slap with the help of your thumb and then strum with middle finger. Like that. So Now, you play the same chorus, uh, same lines, uh, except that they're going to be in this position. Okay, so what's happening over here is, so this is 3 and 3 on 5th string and 2nd string. So now the fret numbers are relative to the capo, okay? So 3 and 3 on 5th string and 2nd string, and you have open on 3rd string, okay? So you're going to pinch two times, then you can do a slap, okay? Then instead of 3rd fret, you have 1st fret on 2nd string. That's the only change, so. Okay? Now a slide from 3 to 5 on 2nd string, and then, so after doing the slide, we need to have 3rd fret on 5th string, then 5 and 5 on 3rd string and 2nd string, to the slap, and then once again pick all 3 strings together. So, let's take it from over here, slide, and then, okay, and then the rest will be the same as the part that we learned in the intro. I remember I said that this part will be coming again later in the arrangement, so that just play the same thing. We've learned this part before, same as the part that we learned in the intro. Okay, so let me repeat the second part of the chorus where we uh, came uh, in this position once again. And then this same part that we learned in the intro. This part is repeated one more time in the chorus and then what I like to do is I've made this little um, artificial harmonics that you can add if you want okay so what's happening over here is first of all you need to have first fret on second string and second fret on the third string okay and then what you're going to do is you're going to put your finger on the metal bar over here, the metal part of the fret, okay? So not between 
not where we put our left hand fingers but over the metal bar okay with the right hand those fingers will be put over there so second fret first fret and then open now you're going to uh, play all these same notes that you're going to add 12 frets to it okay so 12 frets added over here on the open first string will be on 15th fret technically because you have capo on the third fret so 12 plus 3 is 15 so 15th fret over here that's going to give you that harmonic okay so you're just going to place your uh, now another thing is that you don't have to press your index finger you just have to touch the string on the middle bar and then with the help of your thumb you can have a, a thumb you can have the nail of your thumb a bit grown so that you can easily you know pick or you can also have a pick if you want but since we are doing finger style you need to have a little bit of a nail over here on your thumb so that you can pick easily so just like that 17th fret on third string 16th fret on second string 15th fret on first string open on second string that means 15th fret again on second string so okay then you have on the fourth string you've got a 17th fret okay then open on third string then 16th fret on the first on the second string and then to do a hammer on from open the second fret over here on the third string you're going to do a harmonic on the 15th fret and then you're going to do the hammer on so so that's how it's gonna work okay so you know it's optional if you want you can add this at the end of the, of the chorus you can also add this at the end of your whole arrangement okay it's a choice now we're gonna come to the second verse Second verse, you can play it exactly the same way as the first verse. Okay, the whole thing. Second pre chorus, same as first one. You go to the chorus. Okay, so basically you're just repeating the second verse same as first verse just repeating the pre-chorus again second pre-chorus and then coming to the second chorus okay all the same parts and then you come to the bridge of the song the bridge is really small it's very easy to play you're gonna repeat the same thing again So you're on C major, 3rd fret on 5th string, 1st fret on 2nd string, and open on 3rd string. Okay, and you're going to pick all 3 strings together. And immediately after that, you have to keep your hand back on the strings because you want to mute the sound of the strings. Then you do a pull-off from 3 to open on the 1st string, and 3 on 2nd string. Okay, so now if you want, you can also do this. Okay, so that's going to be a hammer on from open to third fret on first string, then a pull off from three to open, and then three on second string. So then once again, do three times picking on all these three strings one, two, three. And then do the same part remember that we've played in the intro as well and in the ending of the chorus as well okay so now you need to repeat both these two parts uh, once again and that is 
that's it that's the bridge now after now we've learned all the parts in this arrangement after the bridge you come back to the third pre-chorus This is the final chorus of a song. Repeat again this last part. And you can end the arrangement with the harmonics. Okay, so that is it. That's the finger style arrangement for symphony. I hope you like to listen. This arrangement was a lot about the melody, a lot about the chords, uh, uh, harmonics. It was, there was everything in it except the percussion. I haven't added any percussion in this arrangement. I thought it sounded beautiful without the percussion. Okay, so but if you want, you obviously can. There's lots of lessons uh, in my channel, finger style les lessons, where I've added percussion and I've shown you how to do that. Okay, so make sure to check them out. There's different finger style arrangements that you can learn. And uh, yeah, that is it for today. Thanks for all your support, for all your comments, all the likes. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time with another lesson. Till then, take care and goodbye.